For this video's cold open, I asked you all to submit adjectives that describe me in phrases you often hear me say. So here we go. Hi, I'm Thomas Sanders. I'm very dapper. And also quirky. And also homosexual. I often say what is up, everybody? As well as okay, guys, knock on wood, but. The video will be out tomorrow. I promise. And even though I didn't ask for it, many of you took it upon yourselves to point out the fact that I constantly check my hair when I look into the viewfinder. I'm sorry, it is getting so long I can't help it! <laughs> What is up, everybody? I'm very excited today because we're returning to one of my favorite games, Storytime Mad Libs, but this time we're making it even more special because we're bringing it to life, baby! If you want to get acquainted or reacquainted with this game, you can click up here, but the basic gist, my friends read out three stories with a bunch of blanks in them, and those blanks were filled with Twitter submissions that you and some of my friends sent me after I requested nouns, verbs, adjectives, and a ton of other things. I know what's going in these blanks, you guys didn't. And this time, with the help of many artists out there, we are providing visuals for these twisted tales. And speaking of which, there is a theme for this video, fairy tales. And yes, they are largely influenced by their corresponding Disney movies, not sorry about it. Let's see how bad you all unknowingly tainted these classic yarns. Story time, Sleeping Beauty. Definitely not what they call me. Once upon a time, in an ugly kingdom, there lived a pair of rulers. They were super insecure because they didn't have any children. One day, their prayers were answered and they had a daughter. They threw a huge Beyblade tournament to celebrate. Everyone was doing the royal dance to commemorate the new baby, whom they decided to name Lady Gaga. The rulers had also invited the three good penguins to the party. There are only three good ones, hoping they would bestow upon Lady Gaga magical puppies, just millions of puppies. The first gave the princess the gift of sexy lungs. The second gave her a throne made of toads for our supreme leader. And that penguin was escorted out of the Beyblade tournament. That was a weird gift. It really offset some people. And the third was just about to speak when Gordon Ramsay's Beef Wellington fell over the crowd. Turns out the rulers had failed to invite one guest. Nicholas Cage. Oh man. He walked in and cast a spell on the princess. Ooh, do I have to do a Nicholas Cage impression again? Okay. On her 17th birth <laughs> on her 17th birth no. <laughs> Okay, on her 17th birth, I can't do it. <laughs> on her 17th birthday, she'll prick her weenus on a I'ma kill you stick and die. Then he disappeared saying, I, I'm head out. The king exclaimed, what just happened? The queen shouted, whoa. And all the guests were saying, Jiminy Cricket. Because Jiminy Cricket just showed up. But then they reacted to what just happened by saying, that was totally wicked. But like in a bad way. The third penguin knew what to do. She was like, it's cool guys. She's not gonna die. She's just gonna do this. Yeah, yeah, until the spell is lifted by true love's kiss. That is something. That is something right there. And then she and the other penguin disappeared. The rulers were obviously really tired of this prophecy. So they had all the I'm a kill you sticks in the kingdoms destroyed. Time passed exactly 10 minutes. Okay, but the princess does have to be a little older than a baby. Centuries. And the princess needs to be not dead. 925,600 minutes. We're just a bunch of theater nerds, aren't we? 16 years. That's it, that's perfect. That's exactly the right amount of years. I don't care if it's not silly, we're going with it. For 16 years, they thought they were Fabulous. They also thought they were safe, and neither of those things were true. One day, Lady Gaga came across a Stinky. woman using an I'm a kill you stick. She'd never seen one before. And something compelled her to Immediately she booped her Weenus. on it, which led to her, and then the, mm -hmm. The good penguins discovered this and exclaimed, Oh my ravioli chicken and good gracious, I cannot stand that macaroni cheese stick. I just want to get to the And cast a spell on the kingdom. By night one way, by day another, this shall be the norm. Until you find true love's first kiss, then take love's true form. And despite that being the spell from Shrek, it made everyone in the kingdom do the same creepy walk until the spell was lifted. Why? Because the penguin who cast it was the same one who gave the gift of the throne of toes. So, you know, she was just a weird one. Anyway, uh-oh, um, time passed. Exactly. Four minutes and 20 seconds. Liza. Sure. Roller coasters. Grew around the palace. One day, an edgy prince heard the tale of the bewitched princess in a castle far away. He sashayed to the castle, but was met by none other than Nicolas Cage, who shouted, No. That was a bit scary, sorry. He then transformed himself into a giant <laughs> German shepherd. It was fierce looking, baring its teeth thusly. 
the penguins enchanted the prince's frappuccino to fly straight into Nicolas Cage's left. Me. The cage meister cried out. Uh, uh. And down he went. The prince journeyed up into the princess's room, and there she was. So creepy. Really, yeah, truly creepy. He knew what he had to do. Literally shaking, the prince made his way to the princess, closed his nose, puckered his tongue, and slapped her. Then he remembered he was supposed to kiss her, and he did that. She awoke, gazed into his eyes, and said, How about you yabba dabba don't? He explained he only did it to save her, you know, true love's kiss and all, and she got that, but yeah, back off. And he did. What's the moral of the story? Anything can be a weapon if you use it wrong enough. The end. All right, that one was actually a lot of fun. That came together a lot better than I thought that was going to. Um, let's move on to story number two and see what other fairy tales we can mess up, shall we? Story time! The Little Mermaid. Once upon a time, in the land of anywhere but here, there was a giant mermaid who lived under the sea. Her name was Daisy Joe. Daisy Joe, yes. And she memed the world of humans. One day, she saw a ship go by with the most disastrous twink boy she had ever seen. Suddenly, one singular box of hornets hit the ship and the man went gyrating overboard. The princess exclaimed, oh wait, did I explain the mermaid was a princess? The mermaid's a princess. The princess exclaimed, ah, oh, shark farts. She swam awkwardly over to him and skipped him safely to shore. She sang to him with her fear-inducing voice, hoping to wake him up, all the while thinking they could be cars. Just as his eyes began to open, she heard the sounds of a search party. Prince, Aaron. do this if you can hear me! Wanting to stay, but knowing her father would forbid it, she boogied back into the ocean. The amount of time it takes a bunny to change a light bulb went by. And the princess knew she had to poke the prince again. She had heard stories about a mysterious figure that might help her. Ursula, the sea. Gingela. After traveling to Ursula's pizza palace, Daisy Jo begged for her help. The sea chinchilla saw an opportunity to get something for herself. She told the princess, if you do want to see the prince again, you will trade your Netflix for legs. That's a tough trade. Yep. Despite this trade seeming a little bit fishy, the princess squawked and Ursula cast her spell. Abracadab. Bruh. Storing Daisy Joe's Netflix account in her magical potato. Ursula then revealed her trick. Daisy Joe must get true friendships Bracelet. in three days, or she will be turned into poopy. Yes, she will be turned into poopy and belong to Ursula forever. Then she called upon a mighty confused cat. Probably because it was underwater to carry the princess to shore. At that very moment, the prince was patty caking along the shore, thinking about the mystery girl who impregnated him. Suddenly, he sees the very same girl coming out of the water doing this. <laughs> Oh, the prince ran to her and brought her to Florida, thinking they could be Kauai. friends from a spaceship made of hot dogs. Ursula saw that her plan to steal Daisy Joe's Netflix account might fail. She disguised herself as a YouTuber <laughs> and cast this spell to bewitch the prince. Hippity hoppity. Get off my property. Daisy Joe, seeing her bro in danger, went and cuddled Ursula, breaking the spell. Ursula was enraged by this display of friendship and tried her magic once more to summon a storm of cheese balls. The princess and the prince ran to the Epcot ball and yeeted it into the sea. They fired all their emo bracelets at the sea chinchilla. Perhaps they were true friendships, emo bracelets? Ursula cried out. And sank to the most psychedelic part of the sea. The king of the sea had been fangirling over this act of bravery from afar and decided to grant the princess her own 25 legs. At last, the prince and the princess came together and did what they've always wanted to do. Friendship. They all lived swimmingly ever after. I couldn't help myself. What's the moral of the story, you may ask? Safe? 
the turtles. Oh gosh, this is fun. I like these stories being like super weird, but also semi making sense. It's kind of it's kind of a fun exercise. I have to wonder: are we are we destroying these tales, or are we making them better? I don't know. <laughs> Let's move on to story number three. Story time. Rapunzel. Let's just be real. It's tangled. <laughs> Long ago, in the land of. Okay, that's an actual place in Wales, so we're just gonna call it Wales. There was a girl named. Oh, I get it because like Rapunzel is a kind of vegetable, and you're paralleling it by naming her after a type of fruit. That is actually very clever. Well done, young Gavin. You're a genius. She was trapped away in a giant toothbrush in the middle of Middle Earth. In the middle of Middle Earth. That is. That is very middle. <laughs> This girl was gifted cat-like powers through her slimy hair, the color of purple. Wait, wait, no, black. Wait, no, blue. Wait, no, frick, um, purple. She wanted to explore the outside world so badly, and more than anything, she wanted to attend the annual event she could only see from her giant toothbrush. A uh, horse funeral. Oh gosh! <laughs> Coincidentally, it happened every year on her birthday. I don't know what that means, <laughs> but her kidnapper, an evil pigeon, told her that the outside world was filled with Wolverine, and that it was just downright sickening, but in a bad way. So instead, she spent her time inside with her pet tarantula, named Pippin. That's appropriate, Middle Earth.、Oh. Things took an interesting turn one day when Danny DeVito showed up in her prison like this. And said, "I am a trash goblin." It was pretty weird, so she hit him with a ukulele, yelling, "Street smarts!" Danny was appalled to hear this girl spent every day inside just watching Thomas Sanders on YouTube. So he convinced her to escape with him. The first thing she did when she stepped outside was scoot around in the grass. But that was only the beginning. They ended up in a tavern full of stuffed animals, where Danny was forced to sing about word association games. And what a sight it was! Actually, I kind of like that.、Um, can we have Danny DeVito in a pirate hat now, artists? They also almost ended up cosplaying in a Starbucks. And after escaping UFOs, the girl found out that she was actually my dad. <laughs> wow, my dad? <laughs> dad, where have you been? <laughs> the kidnapper tried to stop her, but Orange wouldn't allow it. Not anymore! Yelling, "Don't mess with me! I got the power, God!" Enemy on my side. Danny DeVito knew it was all about that slimy purple hair, so he sang it right off. The evil pigeon panicked at this, stumbled back, and Pippin the tarantula helped her to defenestrate herself. What the heck does that mean? Hold on. To throw someone out of a window. Why do we have a word for that? <laughs> When everyone surrounding Orange realized that she was my dad. She... <laughs> They, <laughs> they exclaimed, "Jumping jelly beans!" With this newfound knowledge and a blossoming friendship with Danny DeVito, the girl decided to start a new life by moving to Wakanda and channeling her magic through her、um, to become a Master General, Doctor, Sir, Director, Executive, Vice, Ma'am. And best of all, she got to finally attend that horse funeral. <laughs> the moral of that story. Is that if you've got dreams to chase, go get 'em, gays. All right, that was a lot of fun. Yes, I just fixed my hair. Deal with it. I think we made these stories just a little bit better. I had a lot of fun with them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Wait, whoa! It's the gender side. These are awesome. Thomas himself helped design them. Uh, okay. Logan has real note card holding action. Watch your head, Logan. If you squeeze Virgil's hand, he'll say nothing, but he'll silently wonder to himself why you did that. They also glow in the dark if you put glow in the dark tape on them. Cool. Glow in the dark tape sold separately, not by us. Try a craft store or something. Only by getting all four of the sides will you unlock the Thomas figurine for free. Wow, that's um. Okay. They also each come with their own unique box. And a dream mind palace. 
My palace has just been discontinued. Okay, I need these for a second. I need to break away from this commercial bit to talk about some promo stuff for a second. Sorry, Gavin. These fun size sander sides drop October 30th, and it's a one time release, so get them while you can. The fun support us directly while giving you some neato shelf decor. Five lucky people will also be getting a free signed box containing the U2s of their choosing. If you want to enter, go to thomassanders.u2s.com, link in the description, and follow the steps on the page, like following U2s on Twitter or visiting the post on my Instagram. The more steps you enter, the higher your chances of winning one. All right, anyways, sorry. Back to the commercial. Get your sander sides today. Each figure sold separately. Batteries not included or necessary. If you want to see a video like this in the future, or if you want to see a different theme, please let us know down in the comments. We love suggestions from all of you. And if you would like to be a part of videos like this in the future, please be sure to follow me on Twitter so that you can be alerted to when I do a video like this again. Please take care of yourselves. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take it easy, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Peace out. I want a green screen, so feel free to put anything in the background. Uh, that was probably a bad idea. Country. Texas. Judge Judy. Red. Koala. Koala bear. Lin Manuel Miranda. Said it and forget it. Hippo. Abracadabit. R. Careening. Flying squirrel. Banana. Grease. I'm scratching my butt. It's true.